Let's go out to Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic, Steve. How are you? I am doing well also. And uh, so I know there's a lot of cold weather going through the country, but how about California? Is, it a, is that the polar freeze impacting you guys at all? I hate to gloat, but it's actually very nice here. I was out on a hike this morning. It was probably about, it's in the 60s, you know, just really pleasant. Sun was out. Good, good, nice good, clear, good. Glad to hear. Hey, you, you yeah. live there. You get to gloat. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, I wanted to catch you this morning before you got on a roll. I just, you yes. know, you, get, you kind of get going. I didn't want to interrupt your, your flow, so. No problem. Um, I was calling about U.S. Steel, and if you don't mind, just briefly, I'd like to kind of go over what I've been doing with the stock and the reasons that I I uh, bought calls on it. Sure. So I have spent last weekend, I've been doing some earnings uh, uh, trades with the options. And on this particular one, I was looking over the weekend, and I was just trying to find stocks that were going to be having earnings this week, and I, I found this. I liked it. Um, I was lucky enough that the, the market was down on Monday. I got in, it got below 21, and so I bought the um, the weeklies at uh, 56 cents on the they're the 22 dollar calls, and then I okay. actually sold those this morning Great. at a buck 12. Um, I was considering maybe going back in something out a little further. I did like it because on the weekly it came down. It was a, a low back in October of 2017 that it tested with less volume and. And then uh, it looked like it might have gotten above a swing point here on the daily with some volumes. So if you could kind of give me your opinion on it, and what, what you well, think about it? Yeah, so I'm I'm glad that you actually went ahead and took the uh, took the money off the table on U.S. Steel, and and the reason is is because so you mentioned the weekly time frame, and let's just stick with the thought process on the weekly time frame, Brent, for a moment. And and folks, hopefully you're watching us on Tiger TV. And Brent had mentioned that he was comparing the price move down to the price move back in May of 2017. Now that price move back was with 74 million shares the week of May 15, 2017. And price got underneath that level. It did it both on December 17th, which was 48 million shares. And then the very next week, which was Christmas week, began December 24th with 30 million shares. So really kind of hard to, you know, the, that week and then the following week on December 31st to know what the real volume was. but. I would say it's a pretty good conclusion. It was less than the 74 million shares there. Now, no matter whether that's the case or not, what we can see on this weekly time frame chart here is a couple of different things. One, price has made its way up to a descending trend line that would begin, folks, and you can do this at home too, just take the high of July 23rd, just take the high of November 5th, and you'll see the price is nudging right up against that. So you would know, even if you didn't have the weekly task market profile system on your screens, you would know that price was hitting a level of resistance. What Brett and I don't know is whether this is going to hold or whether price is going to break through this area. But what we also know, and the reason why I said, hey, I'm glad to hear that Brent went ahead and took the money off the table, is because what we can also see, and I'll turn these trend lines up, what we can also see is that price is moving right up into the top of its weekly market profile. Now, the week's not over. It's only Wednesday. Uh, so we don't know if this resistance level will hold. That top of the box is 2257. The high today is 2242. What we do know is the structure of that box is bearish. And what I mean by that is that the center line at 2158 is much closer to the top at 2257 than the bottom at 1818. So I would go into the longer dated calls if price can break through this resistance because it would be two levels of resistance that it would break through. Otherwise, I think it's it's a excellent move to take those profits for Monday off right here and to be patient and wait to see what takes place. Now that's taking a look at the at the uh, uh, weekly time frame chart. I've got a slightly different trend line established right now for the uh, daily. Uh, that could take price up into the 2309 level. But, oops, sorry about that. But what I'm going to do is give, um, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and give uh, more priority to the weekly 
bearish structured box that we have up there. So that's what I see in taking a look at uh, U.S. Steel. On a monthly basis, I don't really see anything, you know, that, that could really assist us. Or, or So does that help? It does. I think what I'm going to do is just they have the earnings are coming out after hours, uh, after the market okay. closes today. <clears throat> Let that play out and see where it's at, I guess. And if it, uh, it might make a decent move off of that potentially, but I'll just, uh, I'll see what happens with that. And then uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to thank you personally. And of course, you know, Baslin, Larry and Tom and just everybody for their help over the years with the all the technical analysis and just different little, you know, nuggets of information you've sure. imparted on us. And it's just been very helpful as my, you know, having a much better success rate in my trading than I, uh, you know, maybe well, that's, had in the past. And so, that's great to hear. Well, we, we, we all say thanks to you. So thanks for being a part of the TFNN team. And uh, right, Brent, have you. a great day. Thanks for calling in. We'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Brent and Martinez, right, California.